Hello, my name is Bonnie DeCasey, and today I'm going to be reading a review from the film Letters to Uranus, The Hidden Life of Ted Burr. I'm putting a screenshot up of the movie right next to me so that you can actually see the young Ted Burr in the movie poster as I'm reading this review from Film Threat. Clearly, the screen has not seen anything like Ted Burr. Wearing a flowing rose caftan and wearing his platinum hair in a page boy style, Burr bears more than a passing resemblance to Peggy Lee in her later years. This flirt appearance is accentuated with over-the-top camp body language, complete with waving arms and fluttery fingers. While certainly giving the eyes more than a treat, Burr runs the vocal gamut with put-upon phrasing and melodramatic diction that suggests the grand dames of theatrical yesteryears. Indeed, even the most mundane nouns and adjectives come over Burr's lips with an importance for the ages. His pronunciation of dreadful gives grave depth to that poor word. No one is going to confuse Burr with Vin Diesel, to be sure. If you've been following along with Lenny Pinna's dramatic readings, this is going to get a lot, give you a lot of depth and insight because you're going to see the older Ted Burr. He's in his 70s in this movie. Um, and what you're seeing in the dramatic readings is the letters between Ted Burr and Henry Bellaman when Ted is 19. So it's an interesting, um, it's an interesting view of Ted's life. Not only that, you're actually going to see Ted, um, tell Lenny about the letters, which is extremely, um, emotional and important, uh, in this film. So the link is below. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed, um, hearing the review from Film Threat. It's a wonderful review and, um, definitely check out the film. It is very much worth it. Thank you so much for watching.